Hey everyone, I'm Chris, and today we're going to take a look at this massive box of plastics. Yep, I'm the first person in this building to get my hands on the new American Army deal for World War III. Before I open it up, because I know that's all you're really here to see, let's talk about what this is. So this is a great starter force, whether you're building your first World War III American Army, or whether or not you're just adding to one. It comes with the Apache that, let's be honest, we've all been hanging out for. The Bradley, there we go, which after the Apache is probably the most asked for tank model in the game. We've also got the workhorse, the Abrams. Everyone needs more Abrams tanks. Humvees, which can be used in a multitude of ways. And as well as that, we've got a great start here guide and a rule book in here. Now, shall we cut to the part you've really been waiting for? Should we tip this out and have a look? Yeah, I think so too. Now, look at that. It is packed. Oh my goodness. Normally, I'd throw a box away as soon as I've, I've got the models out. I don't need evidence like this in the house that people can find. Today I'm going to keep it because I'm going to need to smuggle this back to my desk before Victor or one of the other guys tries to take all this cool stuff from me. Give me a second, I'll organize this and then we can take a look at all the parts one by one. All right, let's start with the paper stuff that's in here. First things first, mini rule book. You can never have enough mini rule books. If this is the first rule, first box you've bought and this is the only rule book you've got, it's all you need. If you're like me and you've got a few, you can never find a rule book when you're looking for it. So you put one in your army bag, one in your painting desk, one on the bedside table, you'll never be without one. Unit cards. We have a stash of unit cards here. Everything you need to get up and running with this army. Of course, decals. You can't get along and finish your army without some decals. And a start here guide. Start here guide is excellent. It will show you how to build every one of your models in this box. Along with giving you some pictures of the unit cards so you've got something to help you compare what's what and how you should build your models. Paper stuff is cool, but let's be honest, you're waiting for the Abrams tank. Here we have our M1 Abrams. Now, this is our sprue that we've been using for a number of years for Team Yankee. Started out as the venerable M1, then we've got the IP M1 with stripes, now with World War III M1A1 and M1A1HC. Did you have any more letters in there? So, it's a tr traditional plastic M1, along with the new APU unit that you can attach to the rear of your hull to turn it into an HC model tank. This is a crowd favourite, this tank. I love it. It's great. It's easy to build. I was building one last night. It's that good. Planning on taking these ones to build as well. After the M1, we have the Bradley. There we go. We're going to get a close-up of this, I think. The Bradley is probably, like I said in the intro, one of the most asked-for models to add to World War III. It's iconic. It looks awesome. And the kit's great including both the standard M2 Bradley, along with the up-armoured M2A2 options. I cannot wait to build my, build my first ones of these. After the Bradley, which well I remember, you get a total of four Bradleys in here. So that's enough for transports for a platoon of infantry or as a pair of scout sections. Next up, M109. I'm saving the Apache to last. Our M109 came out a few months ago. It is a great piece of kit, whether you're an American player, British player, or a German player. A lot of you have been asking for this to come out in plastic. We brought it out with the World War III British book. Now you can start fielding it with your Americans. Um, not much to say about this, but you don't really want to leave home without a bit of artillery. Next up, the Humvee. The Humvee, it's not World War III without a Humvee, come on. Through the deserts of Iraq, through patrolling through Europe, it's just such an amazing, iconic vehicle these days. You get four Humvees in the box. Now, you can configure those as a scout section um, with machine guns and tow missiles. 
or you can start to use them as an anti-aircraft unit and put stingers with them. Lots of flexibility, easy kit to build. Everyone needs a few Humvees. Last, but certainly not least, the amazing Apache. I don't know what to say. It's an Apache. Come on. How long have we been waiting for this? This is just fantastic. It comes with two options, so you can either build it as the A variant or the D variant. In terms of the game, there's no difference. Um, if you're like me, you're going to build them as the D version because you like the longbow radar on top and just the extra lines and bits and pieces they've put on it. Great kit, which of course you've got decals included for as well. All right, guys, there you have it. There's the World War III American Starter Army deal. Straight out of the box, this is going to provide you with a great force to begin building your World War III Army. Or if you're like me and you're looking to add to one, it's a really easy way to grab a bunch of things that are going to be very useful. Look for it in stores soon.